Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Oh yes. And mate, it's, it's nice to be back. It's nice to have you back. Thanks for having me. That? So, we've done a lot of chatting on the site and on um, on the channel about pedals, pedal boards. Yes. You're building a new pedal board. Yes. I'm building two pedal boards. Biggest pedal board I've ever seen. I have to give a big shout out to the guys at Fossboard in the UK. Um, it's actually made from recycled timber. Right. And it's very lovely and all eco-friendly and all that sort of stuff. I have two of these. I have the big one, which is going to be my front end board. Yeah. So uh, tuner, wah, uh, pre ampy type stuff, fuzzies, distortions, nice. overdrives, boosts, things like that. Then I'm going to have a little one, which will be my modulation, delays, core eye. Core eye? Reverb. Reverb I don't know. Reverb I. Yep. So that's going to go in like your effects loops. That's in the loop. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, but as you can imagine, uh, there's an infinite amount of wisdom and an infinite amount of not wisdom <clears throat> about the order in which pedals should go. Yes. Now, if we didn't have fuzzes, yeah, I would say it's quite straightforward. Polytune or uh, the tuner. Yeah. Into your wah. Yeah. Into your EQ. For me. Okay. Into your distortions, distortion eye. Yeah. I'll stop doing that now, I promise. Yes. Um, Please do. But we do have fuzzies. We have the the um, Dunlop fuzz face, the Hendrix edition. Yep. And the Big Muff. No jokes, please. <clears throat> so, problem with fuzzies are that they don't like buffers. So, the Boss pedals come with a nice buffer in them. Now, what does a buffer do? It changes the impedance, and I think it can. It basically cleans up your level, so, so you can, if you're running long cable lengths, mm -hmm. you can get a nice clean signal coming from your guitar, going into your pedal board. So you, you could, in effect, have a pedal, have a buffer at the start and a buffer at the end. Yeah. Now we've got a buffer inside the polytune. No, there's no buffer in that one. Is there not? Okay, no, fair there's enough. No buffer in that one. Take that back. There's no buffer in this one. No. Um, so I would say, my understanding, say, so would be bam, 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 bam out to whatever comes next in the chain. Yep. Do you feel the same or different? I would just change one thing. I yep. would go to that because yep. I'd want to EQ my guitar. Right. Uh, different guitars, different EQs. I could fiddle around with it uh, into that direction. But yes, I would want, ideally I would want my wah going into the fuzz, I think. I'd probably try, I'd probably try both ways, but. Well, quite frankly, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try some different orientations, see what works, see what doesn't work, and see what produces the best results. Yeah. Now, uh, caveat time, what's the best results for us, basically me, it's my board, might not be the same as you like. This is true. Because as we said on the um, live stream last night, tone is a very subjective thing. Yes. And what might work for your fingers may not work for mine. Absolutely. However, it's my board, they're my toys, so there. Okay, you have, yeah, you have <laughs> as much fun as you want. Okay, let's do the first routine. Okay. So out of the polytune, into the. We're going to speed this up. Of course. Okay. So polytune, yep. into, into wah, yep. into EQ, into fuzz, into muff, into outside world, into the amp. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say, yeah, I think that's the best combination. <laughs> <laughs> so instantly, I, I think what we were trying to do there was to show how certain things don't work, how certain combinations and certain orders of pedals don't work. That sounds great. It does sound good, but 
I, I can I can I say I love the way that the buffer yeah. is driving that fuzz face, and I'm really surprised because normally when you hear a buffer in front of a fuzz face. It's going. It, it, it's it, it, uh, the the fuzz becomes like a spitty sort of while. Okay, uh, sorry, a spitty fuzz. So let's try taking this out of the loop for a minute. Okay. Because you want to put this in front of the wah, don't you? I do. So let's try your grand plan. Okay. Doesn't like that, does it? Now we've got the problem. Because the, the hang on, yes, the wah is feeding the fuzz. The wah was feeding the fuzz before. No, it wasn't, it was going through the buff, it was going through the EQ pedal. Okay. We're now, we're now going polytune EQ, where yep. you wanted to put it, yep. EQ into wah, wah into fuzz, fuzz into muff. Yes. And that, now we have. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to send Morse code, it'd be great. Right. That is the classic case of an impedance mismatch between the output of the of the wah and the input of the fuzz. Yes. Nasty. Nasty. Now, there's an interesting argument that says, why not put this on that side of the wah? So, so basically, what you want to do is to run the fuzz face into the wah and then the wah out of the big muff. Yes. Let's do it. Let's try that. And I want to leave out the EQ just for now. Okay. Just to see what happens. Do that. So. So we are now, just to confirm, after all that jiggery and indeed pokery, we're going from the polytune yep. into the fuzz face, yep. into the Morley Wah, into the Big Muff. Okay. Right. So. That's filthy. That's absolute filth. That works really well. Mm. That works really well. So that going Straight. so fun, isn't it? Like changing the order of the pedals shouldn't matter that much. But it does it because so in an unbuffered world where these guys come from, yeah, those guys in fact come from. It really matters. Yeah, yeah. Um, as we get further down the chain, and that's more for another video, we have plenty more toys to bring into the soup. Um, some of which need nine volts, some of which have their own power, which yeah. I think will change things again. I actually, oh, do you know, I wish I could switch them around because I love the way the fuzz sounds that way through the wah. That sounds awesome, that kind of real. Yeah, it's, it's great for chords. That works really yeah. well, so just like. <laughs> And I can feel myself suffering really badly with wah wah mail. You need to, you need to control that wah wah mail. I'm sorry. Um, now, we've taken out the EQ at this point. Yep. I'm wondering whether we want to go poly one last, one last okay. um, arrangement. Polytune into fuzz, into EQ pre wah. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Try the equaliser at the end. At the very end, after the muff. After anything that doesn't like buffers. Right. Let's try the, let's go, so the output, going yeah. to the amp, is the equaliser. Okay. So we can do that very easily. Okay, so uh, according to Paul's amazing suggestion, it now goes polytune, fuzz, wah, 
Muff EQ. Right. <laughs> Jury's out for me. It really is. I love the way chords sound with the fuzz this side of the wah. Yep. But I love the top end you get from having the fuzz that side of the wah. Yeah. It's weird. I like so so my my favourite was the first one. Which was Which was your which was your my gut instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So polytune into wah, into EQ, into fuzz, into Big Muff. Yes. Strange. Well, the jury's out, folks. Um, I think we'll find out what I choose in the next video, quite honestly. Absolutely. When we w move on to distortion-y, drive-y, powered pedals. Too, so much gear. So much gear and no idea, quite frankly. Absolutely. So we really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. And we will see you for part two, more pedals on my enormous front end board. Nice. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I'm James from the Studio Rats. And we'll see you next time.